Hey, what's up, guys? Luke Profit. So this is just a quick video on how to use Zik Analytics. Uh, it will save you a bunch of time and is much easier than trying to manually go through and find all of these items. So if you want to sign up for Zik Analytics, this is the link to go to lukeprofits.com slash Zik, Z-I-K. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so let me just show you real quick how this works. So in uh, a, little, well, a little bit ago, I was showing you this guy and uh, how we were figuring out uh, which items are good and which items aren't. So I'm just using this account to show you again. He's not the ideal candidate because he's like prices too low, and so he's not really a good person to snipe. But it's not, it's you know it's not that hard to find people. So anyway, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. so we're just gonna copy his username right here. Copy. Go to Zik Analytics, and go to Competitor Research. And so we can just paste in his name here. And before I do this, let me show you. Remember what we were doing before? We just clicked on his name. If you're trying to do this manually, manually without any kind of software, you know, just like looking through, uh, you know, you have to view all his items and then just kind of open every single one of these, check how many times they've sold. Zik Analytics is great because all you have to do is put in their name, hit search, and then bam, we've got a whole bunch of info on this guy. Um, I screwed up and set my account, my test account here to pounds instead of dollars, so... Uh, Sorry about that, but yeah, okay, so check out. So this is the cool stuff. So uh, it tells us some data on him, like he's selling from China. He's got a ridiculous sell-through rate. Only 116 list is listings active, but he sold 404, blah, 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 average price, all this good stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is, the, this is the best part here. Sales. It's just sorted right there, right off. So you could, So this is his best item. You see it sold 106 times total, and then uh, 48 recently. Do to do, and we got it. Just it just ordered it, so you know I can go the other way too. You can change this. So this one only sold once um, recently, and then ten total. Uh, but yeah, so you can just filter this by however you want. So I'll just sort by the recent sales. It shows you the update uh, day that they uploaded it as well. So essentially, we've just gone through all 116 of his items and have sorted them from best to worst. So basically everything here that's above four is good. So up to right here, okay. So these and up are the items that you would want to look at to snipe. And um, we also did figure out that he uses weird titles, uh, custom titles that are not the same as Amazon, so this thing doesn't always work. Or actually, it might just be that my settings are wrong. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't set up my break even yet, but uh, generally you can just, you know, come here and then you click that and then that just finds the proper Amazon item for you. You confirm that they're the same and then you're all good and that item is good to list on your account. So that's kind of how Zik Analytics work. Also, um, again, this is not <laughs> the best example of it because his, his, he uses like completely unique titles that he makes up. Um, Instead of using more common dropshipping titles, I think this guy's kind of doing a unique thing, unlike most dropshippers. But uh, you can do this button to scan the title. Click on that, and it opens in a new tab, and it just takes this, does a search through all of eBay, and finds... Oh, I'm in UK. That's the problem. My settings are wrong. Search. Okay, so uh, did, it didn't find any for this guy because, like I said, he's making up his own titles. But if it found anybody else drop shipping something with the same title, it would just show those all out listed here and their prices and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's how Zik Analytics works, and you can see why it's like really powerful. Uh, saves you a ton of time because instead of having to go through 116 or even more than that, because he's listed more stuff now, I guess. But instead of you know clicking every single one manually and checking it, oh, did this one sell? Did this one sell? Zik, Zik Analytics lets you just easily go, bam. Okay, now I've got the best items sorted from best to worst, and Zik Analytics is pretty dang cheap too. It's not expensive. Um, yeah, so will majorly speed you up with finding items. Uh, so yeah, that is Zik Analytics. If you want to sign up for it, you can click the little link in the thing, uh, lukeprofits.com slash Zik. And yeah, that's how that works. Uh, also, like I said, if you would rather just have this done for you and not spend the time finding items, uh, you can use dropsource.com. That. And uh, yeah. They basically just do all this work and then deliver it as a spreadsheet. But if you don't have the money to do that, because, of course, it's more expensive, they're saving time, then Zik Analytics is the way to go, and that's how it works.
Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to drop shipping and you're trying to figure out how to get started, I've got a full free set of training videos down there, link in the description. It goes over everything you need to know about how to get started making money online. And the average person following my method makes around $500 to $800 profit per month after expenses for each thousand item eBay store that they have set up and running. They're really not that hard to get started. If you've got any questions about anything drop shipping related, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that I started with hundreds of other drop shippers that you can join. I post new content on this channel every couple days, so go ahead and subscribe and click the notifications and I'll see you back here with another video in a couple days.